Lieutenant. Yes, Commander Jesus, sir. You see the land of Phnicia down there? Phnicia, Phnicia. Just north of the land of Israel. I knew that, yes there it is, Phnicia. You see the small island off the coast, there? That would be Sidon. Tyre. Tyre, I meant Tyre, beautiful island, Tyre. I'm going to destroy it. I was just thinking what a dreadful place the island of Tyre is, Commander. All the nations surrounding the land of Israel are idol worshippers. It's about time we wipe them out. I'm not going to wipe them out for idol worship. Of course not. You're going to wipe them out for... You're going to wipe them out for... Wait a minute. Isn't it a little late to be wiping out the Phoenicians now, Commander? I mean, they no longer pose a threat to the land of Israel. The Jews have been conquered by the Babylonians. Correction, Lieutenant. I'm not going to wipe out all the Phoenicians, just the people of Tyre. Why just the people of Tyre, sir? Because they rejoiced in the fall of Jerusalem. Nobody rejoices in the defeat of my chosen people and gets away with it. I see. Well, sir, may I suggest a repeat of our victory over the city of Jericho? I rather enjoyed the earthquake and fire scenario. No. No. No, in the Battle of Jericho, we left part of the city wall standing. But that was a deliberate strategy, sir. We left part of the wall standing because Rahab and her family were living on top of that section of the wall. That's right. But in this case nobody in the entire city of Tyre has repented, so the entire wall around the city will be destroyed. Not one brick will be left upon another. My kind of battle, sir. Swift and sure destruction. In addition to the city, the settlement along the coast across from the island will be destroyed also. Yes, sir, Commander. All of the building materials on both the island and the shoreline will be thrown into the sea. Not a trace of the city will survive. Yes, sir. The city will never be rebuilt and the only activity they will ever see on this site will be the drying of fishing nets on the shore. They'll know who's boss. They will know that I am the Lord. I'll mobilize your army at once. Not just yet. Not yet. Not yet. Then, we'll attack at dawn. No. When, then? In 400 years. 400 years. That's correct. But, why such a delay? I need to warn them first. You know, Commander, I remind you every time you do this, that warning the enemy ruins the element of surprise. I don't want to surprise them. You never do. You always warn them, just once. I'd like to do a military operation the way military operations were meant to. It's not going to happen, Lieutenant. Of course not. That would be too easy. You never do things the easy way. If I did things the easy way, people would explain it away as the works of man or a natural disaster. Yes, but isn't 400 years of warning a little excessive, sir? I don't want them to have any excuses, Lieutenant. So. I am going to warn them about the fall of Tyre through my prophets Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Amos and Zechariah. I don't want my critics to complain that I didn't give them plenty of time to repent. Yes, but 400 years. Why 400 years? I want everyone to see how difficult it is to conquer this city. Before I bring down the city of Tyre, I am going to allow the Babylonians, the Mids, and the Persians to fail at trying to destroy it so that everyone will know that its final destruction was not the work of man. The Babylonians are the most powerful army in history. Are you sure the city will survive their attack? Am I sure? You're omniscient. Of course you're sure. All right, I'll have the troops stand down for a while. But after the Babylonians, the Meds, and the Persians have all had a whack at them, my men will... Not quite. Please don't tell me you're going to do this without your army. I'm going to have the Greeks destroy the city of Tyre. But the Greeks don't even have an army. Not yet. Why must you always do things the hard way, sir? That way there's no mistaking who gets the credit. You're the commander. Dismissed, Lieutenant. My men could have made men's meat of that city. Dismissed, Lieutenant. Yes, sir, Commander Jesus. What kind of battle plan is that? The Greeks don't even have an army. Based on a play by Bob Snook, Conditions for Use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from the performance. You may reproduce and distribute this freely, but all copies must contain this statement.